Here's something I learned from a friend. Uh, if you want to protect the screen on your radio, such as this Tyrannus, you can put some of this ultra clear iPad protector. It's a stuff that looks like uh, this material right here. It has a peel off, stick them back thing, and you can stick it onto your radio. And it's really hard and scratch resistant. And what you want to do is remove the factory shipping protector here, which is just some real skinny plastic that always scratches up. You can scratch it with your fingernail because it's soft. Peel that off, and then to protect the display, you can cut some of this out, this iPad screen protector, and just cut that out using uh, templates that you can download off the internet, or just draw your own template from the size of your screen. You can really do this for any radio. And then peel it off and stick it on there. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, cut it out. I just drew the template mark on the back where the sticky paper that I'm going to peel off is. Just following along my blue ink line. And you could probably do about four radios with this stuff. Coming around the corner. There we go. Now let's bring it over the radio, do a test fit. This template's a little more curved at the bottom than it is at the top. And let's see if it fits. Looks like it fits good. Okay, now we got to peel off the factory material, which is right here. It's already getting scratched up, and I don't want to keep using that. So pull off this factory material. So there's actually two sides to this stuff. One is just a protective layer that you can peel off. It says, please peel off mask after application is completed. So you can just leave that one on there until you stick it down. The other side is a layer that reveals the sticky part. And that says, please peel off this mask before application. So you peel this one off first and stick it down and then peel off this one. This is actually the layer that reveals the sticky. So I'm pulling that off. There. I'm going to put one side down. Now it comes with a little card that's inside the bag. It comes with this little card. Or you could use a credit card. And then you just kind of swipe it across there very carefully. Like that. And that gets all the bubbles, if any, out of it. And there it is. It's on there now. So, I got this uh, iPad material from uh, Big Lots. And it was about $5. I think if you get it from a computer store, sometimes it costs about $10. So it's cheaper to get it from a place like Big Lots, Dollar Tree, or something like that. Alright, now I'm going to do my DX8 radio here. And what I did with that is I just went ahead and peeled off the factory uh, protector off the screen and stuck that onto my iPad protector material here. And I'm just going to use the factory protector from the DX8 as a template while I cut out the material. So now I'm just cutting around that material, the factory material off the DX8, using it as a template, just using scissors to cut the material. I'm actually trying to cut it a little smaller than the radio material just to make sure it fits. There it is. Now with the DX8 you have these uh, buttons right here. So there has to be a hole cut in the in the material to go over those buttons. So I'm going to do that next. I'm going to use an X-Acto knife. Making them a little bigger than they were on the factory material. Just to make sure they fit. Alright, now I'm just doing a test fit to make sure it fits around the buttons okay before I peel off the material. And now it's time to put it on. Just make sure 
you get your screen totally dust free because any little bit of dust that gets under it will leave a bubble an air bubble it will hold the material away from the screen and you won't be able to get that air bubble out just going ahead and sticking it on there and again just use something to try to get the bubbles out now I can pull the second protector off and go ahead and try to get all the air bubbles out so there is two of my radios done I think the uh, second go with this DX8 I probably did the best there's a little air around the buttons here I think the exacto blade probably damaged the film a little bit but the rest looks really good across the screen here the first one I did, the Tyrannus, it had a little bubble, I don't know if you can see it, but some a couple little pieces of dirt got underneath it, a little lint, and caused a couple really small bubbles that are hard to see, but other than that, I think the Tyrannus was the easiest radio to do, because it didn't have any buttons to deal with, and uh, really came out smooth. So there you go. I hope this idea helps you out and you can just leave me any comments under the video